Today we are going to ask you, why do we ask for Mashiach so often? Listen closely and follow along so you'll know the answer. I'm so excited for the wedding! Sami, look at my new shiny black shoes! I... I saw them five times already. Turn right on River Street. Are we there yet? Is it here? Or in that house? Or in that garden? Sarla, relax please. I'm getting a headache. Look at the GPS, Sarla. It says we are two minutes away. In 1,000 feet, turn left on Grover Drive. Then your destination will be on the left. Grover Drive? Was that the name of the street the Simcha Hall was on? Hmm, it doesn't sound familiar. Let's drive there and see. We are almost at the Chasana! Hooray! Sarala! Whoa, it sure doesn't smell like a Chasana here. Yes, I don't think this is the right place. We really don't belong here. I want to go to the Hasana. This is not the right address. Let's go back into the car and figure out where to go. I'm glad the baby is with a babysitter and didn't come here. Daddy, do you know the way from here to the Hasana? Well, this is definitely the wrong place. We should go before my Shabbos clothes get dirty. Kinderloch, don't worry. Mommy will call our Tante to get the right address. But you know something? What happened now is a great reminder. We are in the wrong place now. Yeah, we're not by the Hasana. True, but we are also in Golos. We do not belong here. It is like ending up in a garbage dump instead of a Hasana. The same way we want to get out of here, we should ask Hashem to get us out of Golos. Right, I want Mashiach to come, because then it will be easy to do mitzvahs and only happy things will happen. So while we wait to leave this dump and mommy to end her phone call, let's ask Hashem to leave this galus. Until when will we be here? Okay, Tati. I found out we were supposed to go to Clover Crescent, not Grover Drive. Let's head to the right destination. <laughs> Ha, I really did not enjoy that garbage dump. I don't think any of us did. What didn't you like about it, Zalmi? It was dark, smelly, awful, and it made me feel a bit afraid. Those are good words to describe how it felt. Those words also describe the way we feel living here in Golis. That is why you didn't scream Ad Masai. How much longer do we need to be in this Golis? It is not a comfortable place to be. Mashiach is so important that we want to ask for him all the time. Does anyone know where in davening we ask for Mashiach? Hmm, my class is in the middle of learning Shmaina Esrei. Don't we say it there? Correct. Many brachas in Shmaina Esrei ask for Mashiach. We want to return to Yerushalayim and hear the blow of the shofar. Well, I say Shmaina Esrei every day. So I ask for Mashiach even more times. And Tati Davin's Zmairiv, where he asks for Mashiach again. There are people who wake up at midnight to ask for Mashiach by saying Tikkun Chatzais. Hey, don't we ask for Mashiach in benching also? Wow, we really ask Hashem a lot for Mashiach. That is because we really want Mashiach to come. It's almost like Sarla asking... Are we at the Hasana yet? Yes. You have arrived at your destination.
Today's question is, why do we ask for Mashiach so often? The winner of the Ma'or gift package from video number 151 is Mendel Lorber from Buffalo, New York. Join the next raffle by submitting your answer on MyMaor.org. For birthday announcements, visit MyMaor.org and submit your name. Mazel Tov and happy birthday to Dover Sharp from Montreal, Canada and Ita Lapkowski from Brooklyn, New York. We'd like to wish you all a Shnath HaTzlacha Begash Mesobaruchnias. May you continue to be a proud soldier in Tzavis Hashem, bringing Moshiach now.